I never saw that movie though. I almost watched it recently, actually. I heard it was terrible. That has a yeah, but that also has like a like that is sci fi. Just sci fi. Yeah. I, I, like I feel like a like sci fi bent, it was like Wait, did you actually attack. say what movie that you were trying to think of, Mike? I didn't have a movie in mind. I thought I had one, but it was really more of like me starting a sentence and not knowing where it was going. I, I feel like Attack, would... the, Attack the Block did what fucking uh, the watch was probably trying to do way better. Neighborhood Watch didn't start as sci-fi though, didn't it? Didn't it? No. Right. No. We didn't find out that it was like a sci-fi <clears throat> film until it like released. Uh, that might also be true. I'm trying to think about the movie itself, where the sci-fi element doesn't happen until, like, maybe the end of the first act. I don't know. I I, I definitely saw the movie once, I think. Wait, Christopher Walken's in Severance, too? Fuck. No, I gotta watch it. I have never seen the movie, uh, where Jim Carrey's God, what is it called? Bruce Almighty. Yeah, I, that was on TV the other day, and we were watching some of it, and I was like, "Steve Carell steals so that bad. movie, though." Steve Carell. Bruce Almighty so bad. Yeah, the movie's not good. Bruce I Almighty think... is a great movie. No, I think it's I'm funny. sorry, it's but whatever. it's the, the, no the the scenes that I saw were not. It, they were just like, nah, "I'm good. I'm good with this." I've seen it. I've seen it once. Brendan just, never Brendan just it doesn't like movies. I think. <laughs> what? Hold on. What is good about that movie? Because I watched it did, it, did, it did well enough to yeah, make a Jim spin-off Carrey. movie. Yeah, it's Jim Carrey. I yeah, think, probably because Steve people Carell love Steve Carell. That That's why it wasn't the spin-off Steve Carell. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. There's your answer right there. Evan Almighty was not great. Yeah. That was like right well, there in the peak of the office too, so I felt like that movie was going to do well because of like Was did that movie come out like did Bruce, did Bruce Almighty come out before Steve Carell was like hot? Yes, yeah. He was only in it for like 10 minutes, I think. Like, he's barely in that movie. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Um, I will say... It, it outsold Matrix Reloaded in its opening weekend. Damn. Ooh. That is actually fucking bizarre to me. No, because it's like... It's, <laughs> With a budget of $81 million, it made $484 million. That makes sense though, because it was PG thirteen and Matrix was R, so like it was more people could like you know go to the movies and actually see it. Was Matrix oh. Reloaded R? Yeah, that's the second one, right? Yeah, I one thought one of them was PG thirteen for some reason. No, I don't think so. I think they were all R. Uh, okay. Like, did did the Matrix Reloaded not have a good box office run? I think it did pretty good, but I don't. I think it didn't do as well as they were hoping it was gonna do. Did the first one do better? That doesn't. That doesn't make sense to me. I could see the third one doing worse, but I could see the second one doing better than the first one. It was the highest grossing R-rated film of all time until Deadpool surpassed it in 2016. Matrix Two was the Reloaded. Oh, Reloaded was what? Okay, cool. Interesting. Um pivoting away from garbage movies um i've been we've been letting navi go outside a little bit like in the yard because she's had so far hasn't like tried to do dumb things in the yard so she was in the yard the other day and this fucking she's like just rolling around the yard and like i keep i stay i stay near her and like keep an eye on her make sure you know whatever and I heard a noise and Navi stopped and I stopped. We both look and this fucking squirrel like comes like darting on up the fence, like on the other side and just peeks its head over mouth full of fucking nuts. It literally looked at Navi and like then looked at me and then just went, no, no, no. And then climbed straight back down the fence and ran away. It was like the funniest thing in the world. And then Navi was like all alert. And I was like, no, you got to go inside now. Did, she, did she even care about it? Like, did she like. Oh, Navi likes to hunt. She would, she would have absolutely chased, find, found a way to chase that thing. That's why I was like, nope, you're going inside now. Not, not happening. Not happening in this. We don't, we don't need to have a, a fight with the squirrel. Um, Mike, you, I, you posted a picture of you with a cat outdoors. Was that one of your cats? No, I just saw that cat outside. Just the fucking cat chilling outside? It was, it was barring. Oh, cat chilling outside. And, like, when I saw it initially, like, I saw a guy petting it, and I thought, like, maybe it was his cat, and maybe, like, he just patted it outside. But the, the guy kept walking away, hmm. and I was walking the same direction. So I saw the same cat. I was like, you're just chilling out here, bro? And I tried to get, like, a good look, because 
the cat did have a collar with tags on it. I yeah. wanted to make sure that it was like near its own house. I forget why I didn't do it. I think I just said forget it and I left because the cat seemed happy. Yeah. I mean, it's also maybe not the best idea to approach like a, a potentially, you know, st- not stray cat, but like a, a an animal you don't know. Yeah, he seemed chill. That's how they get the guy you. in front of me. That's how they get The you, guy man. in front of me was was giving it good pets. I saw that. I was like, oh, this they guy's going they lure you in cat. with their good intentions. They stretch their belly out. They're like, hey, look at this. Look at this right here. You put that belly in. It's like a bear trap. Boom. It's it's over. Uh, anyways, welcome everyone to the Pass Control Podcast, a show where a couple of best friends talk about the latest in video games and nerd culture. Sometimes we have guests. Sometimes we talk about really bad movies like Evan Almighty. Uh, too much. Either way, we have a new Ooh, episode correct. for you each and every week. As always, I'm your host, Brennan Groom, and joining me on this lovely Saturday evening is the anime senpai himself, Michael Desir. Mike, how are you doing? We are just going to agree that Brian said the right thing by accident. Yeah, I, I, that's why I just agreed with him. Like, yes, you're correct. Yeah. I have an old idea is a bad movie. Or maybe or maybe I just wanted to appease appease the panel here and, and move along without getting into the weeds. I don't want to get into any more Evan Almighty, but I just looked at the cast, <laughs> and the cast is stacked, like stacked. With for Evan Almighty, Evan Almighty, not Bruce, but Evan Almighty. Yeah, I mean, you can like, have a stacked cast it's, and have a bad movie. No, but like it's it got didn't Morgan even make Freeman. its box, uh, its budget back. It's got more. Yeah, I just Freeman. looked it up. It's got, it's got the Gilmore Girl that you like, whatever. John Goodman, <laughs> uh, Wanda Sykes, Jonah Hill. Uh, who else did I just see? Tom Hanks, Ed Helms, Molly Shannon. I'm like, what the fuck? John Stewart? Are all these people really? Is this, this can't be right. Dean Norris? Like, what the yeah, fuck? All, half of those guys are just friends with Steve Carell. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. The movie, both of the, I had never seen FN Almighty, so I can't comment. But Bruce <laughs> Almighty, really the okay. first half of Bruce, Bruce Almighty is not a good film. And I was not entertained. It It wasn't until it got to at least the first scene that I saw with Steve Carell and and Jim Carrey making him like yeah, that's the best talk. Part of the movie. That was the only yeah. time I was like, okay, this movie yeah. has got a scene in so, it that is funny. So Brendan's humor is that of a like twelve year old boy. Hold on. So <laughs> hold, you, Jim Carrey's other movies and or other parts of that film are highbrow comedy. <laughs> no, but they're not. <laughs> That's literally what you're, you're laughing no, at. No, no. That I first of all, I never actually laughed out loud in any part of that movie. Let not you even the scene. Like, Shut the, the fuck up, Todd. Thing. But the the the, the you posted the... a video. <laughs> <laughs> no, at first he is changing the teleprompter. He's not just making noises. And I was like, all right, this is like because, and it's not even that what what Jim Carrey's doing is that Steve Carell like fucking nails talking off the prompter that way because um, I would imagine that that maybe didn't take one take and if there's bloopers for that scene it's probably bonkers but he fucking nailed being an idiot anyways also joining us is the uh the tarnished Todd Gary Todd how are you doing tonight I need you to help me beat the fire giant motherfucker I have That's told you all week to let me know when you want to play and I'll hop on and beat that beat that boss with you it, it ain't yeah. hard it ain't hard Round, it. For you, it is rounding us out. <laughs> the Disney Daddy, Dominic Forty Dom. How are you doing tonight? Well, I'm distracted right now because Mike has Seinfeld on in the back, and we've been talking about a lot about Seinfeld. So I'd like to say rest in peace, Liz Sheridan. Oh yeah, Seinfeld's yeah, mother well, died the other day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All the parents are going away. Yep, I know. Yo, oh, we lost. Many, uh, actually, yeah, we lost George's mother. Last yeah, week. is Seinfeld's. Is the guy that played his dad still alive? No, I think no. he's dead. All right, then he's that's dead. all. Well, yeah, they're all dead. All the parents are dead. Uh, and that boy Gilbert. Wait, God, wait is Ben Stiller's dead. dad dead? Sure. Yeah. 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 He died recently, or he died a while ago? Uh, like a year or two ago. Four years like ago. Two, yeah. yeah. What were you saying, Mike? Someone else. I was saying, uh, I think we've seen Elaine's father and Kramer's mother, but I don't remember who those actors are at all. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, oh, we I don't, did. I don't remember Elaine's parents on the show. Yeah. I don't remember what. I definitely it is. remember Elaine's. Elaine's father is the one with when Jerry has the suede jacket. Oh, right, he yeah, turns yeah. it inside out and he has pink yeah, and white like, stripes. Oh yes, okay, I do remember that episode because it's he didn't want to wear it in the rain, correct? 
and yeah. ruin the mm-hmm. jacket. Uh, and then Kramer's mom's episode is that when we find out his name is Cosmo? Is that? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I I am again rewatching Seinfeld too, which is a problem. I, I need to watch something else, but it's just it's just good, easy, you know, late night, you know, throw it on, start, couple start of laughs. After that. Same same thing. That's, same that's what we said last week, and I still haven't done it because fucking Seinfeld's just there. You just throw on Netflix, throw on throw on an hour timer. I'm fucking out before, you know, I realize what happened. It's great. <laughs> It's uh, I need I needed to I need to look into it. I saw something, a fucking TikTok, goddammit, it, that said that uh, the guy that did the theme song for Seinfeld never actually like. There's so many versions of the theme song because he had to make it longer based on Jerry's monologue at the beginning and end of episodes when he did the stand-up scenes because they weren't always the same amount of length of time. So he had to keep making different versions of the theme song and there's like i I forget what the tiktok i think you were watching it with me mike the tiktok it it said like there was like 350 different versions of the seinfeld theme song because they had to like he had to make different length versions of it yeah he did it all on the keyboard and you know fresh one for each episode jerry would do his little monologue and he'd play it along to go with the joke that he was talking i wonder Uh, if that also means that like the the sane change music is also the same way because like there are a lot of versions of those noises in that show and they don't sound the same like ever so i wonder if they just never sound the same if they're always different probably it's kind of wild they had a rhythm going they said yeah let's do it they just locked that guy in a room with his fucking keyboard he probably lost their room for for that for nine years and said, no, 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 no. We're going to do another season. Just every episode. Watch I, it. I mean, I, I don't know about the, you guys pay me. I don't know about the composer, but wasn't it, didn't, didn't the Seinfeld main cast, wasn't it like a big deal? Didn't they, didn't, weren't their contracts structured in a way where they got paid off of syndication and that was like not normal for TV back then? Uh, yes, I believe Seinfeld. Uh, Jerry or is it just Jerry? Oh, was it only know. for him? I thought it was for the four of them. Maybe not. He he may have fought for all of them, but interesting. Anyways, uh, before we get into it, a couple of housekeeping things. Uh, this episode of the Passing Control Podcast is sponsored by our good friends at Goodnight Fatty. If you're in the Salem, Massachusetts area or the North Shore, Massachusetts, on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday evening, you want yourself something hot, something sweet, something tasty, something delicious, fresh out of the oven, head on down to One Washington Square, get yourself a delicious fatty. And if you're unaware of what a fatty is, check them out on social media at Goodnight Fatty and educate yourself on these tasty, tasty treats. Um, the PTC Movie Club for April is Mike's pick, and it is Ex Machina. So our next episode will most likely be the Ex Machina episode. So if you haven't watched the film yet, you got a, about a week to do that, and we will talk about it on probably the next episode, or if not, very shortly after that. Hey, who's next, Dom or Brendan? We do this every fucking time. Uh, I know, and I never know. The rotation is you, Mike, me, dumb. Um, so I'm. You got next. some ideas. You got some ideas. For I, you always, I always got them. We're watching Evan Almighty, baby. Uh, <laughs> we're not. We're we're definitely not. Um, but yeah. So well, check, consider it. So watch Ex Machina. We did we did we say where it was streaming? Is it streaming somewhere? Uh, I forget. I don't think. Yeah, uh, other it's than streaming Google, on the Canopy app. Canopy, Canopy. I knew, I knew. I think Hoopla and Canopy are both one, ones that you can access with a library card. Having fun uh, isn't hard. Great. You've got a library card. Yeah, and it's on Hulu if you have a premium subscription, which I think I do. That's like the top tier one, right? Okay, Mister Moneybags. Probably. Changing Todd's name to fucking Toddy Gold Coins over here. Uh, also. We did a bonus Kirby 30th anniversary retrospective episode that is live on podcast feeds and our YouTube channel. And uh, I wrote up some thoughts on Before Your Eyes uh, as it's a game that I have been not able to stop thinking about since I played it last year. So you can check that out on our website if you want to hear some of my uh, thoughts on Before Your Eyes a couple months later. So before we get into some other things... uh, has anyone been playing anything other than the normal stuff, Fortnite, etc.? I haven't played Fortnite at all. I play like by myself once in a while, but I feel like we haven't we haven't grouped up in a while. 
I haven't played anything this week. Not even any Star Wars, though? I haven't played anything, though. Wow. Mike, what about you? I'm not... I also don't think I played anything. You haven't dipped back in Overwatch? I see I see you posting screenshots of, of loot boxes. I think I I think I legitimately turned it on just so I could get that screenshot of the loot boxes. <laughs> I might have played maybe I did play once. I found that Twitter that was, that is literally just is mayhem in the rotation. So I will just open it up and if it's not on then I'm about to blank. Fair, fair. What 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 made you throw on the Boston Uprising jersey today? You're just feeling it. You're just feeling it. He he wanted uh, to feel like a loser. <laughs> yeah, I want to feel like a loser. Uh, I think I think legitimately, I want to go on my scooter, and I also thought, oh, you know, I should wear my Devolver jacket. The oh, Devolver jacket shit. I bought two years ago, and I was like, well, what will work with this Devolver jacket? And I was looking at my shirts. I was like, oh yeah, I guess that will work. And okay. I just put on the shirt. The Devolver jacket was too good for the podcast, though, Mike. You you had to. Why would I wear a jacket inside? Why not? I wear a jacket on the show sometimes, just to look cool. Yeah. Todd put a sweatshirt on. He That's was like... ten minutes ago. Todd was fucking waving his guns around. Yeah, you know what? Like I'm fucking, and now I'm hot again. I'm like, because my my house is at like seventy four right now. Seventy four? Fucking... What? Yeah, dude, it's hot in this. This this like. Oh, I thought you during... meant you had the heat on, and it was. I was like, oh, what are you no, doing? No, 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 no. It's just because it's like been warm out all day today. I'm I'm debating putting on my AC. I'm just gonna rip the back off and fucking fucking crank, start cranking it. Tank top toddy over here. That's his new uh, intro. Tank, t- tarnished tank top toddy. <laughs> um, what about you, Todd? You been playing anything? Dude, so. I am so all over the place, and I was watching a TikTok last night. It's funny because TikTok, this TikTok this showed this dude, and he's like twenty. He's like, when in my sixteen year olds can't wait to get on and play a video game, and then he's like, and then it's like, tw- like I'm twenty nine now, and it's like can't figure out what to play anymore. And you posted something, and I'm like, oh my god, I just read a comment that was like so true. This dude was like, I don't know, I'm thirty nine right now. All I do is stare at my game screen. Next thing I know, I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to bed. And I'm like, fuck, I feel that so hard right now, man. Like, it's like, I've been doing that. And I, I want to play all these games. And I'm just like, I feel like I'm overwhelmed. And I'm like, I give up. I'm just going to lay down. And that's basically what I do yeah. when I fall asleep on the couch. You, you got to just like, you gotta just pick one and, and settle in and I'm just balancing, get, get I'm, into I'm the groove. I'm doing the balancing act again, too. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm see, that's your problem. Like, I, I've been telling you, you're never going to finish Elden Ring because you're jumping around again. And well, like Star Wars, I know I'll finish because I'm... Where am I? I'm at Empire Strikes Back right now, and I started from the prequel, so I'm 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 getting through that, uh, and I'm enjoying that game so far. But uh, I just started playing. Uh, I sh- told you last night. What is it? Uh, XCOM two. Game? XCOM two, and I actually am digging this game a lot. So I feel like this is something I can just jump in and out yeah. of. It's not like you know. Yeah, I should I should yeah. install XCOM and, and four four dollars for shot. fucking a hundred dollar regular package is a fucking steal. That honestly, I love that. Uh, digital purchases are finally almost up to speed with like sales of like other games we would find at like stores like for physical media because it took forever like I'm like oh I could buy this game at fucking Best Buy right now for 10 bucks I'm like oh let's check what it's like on Xbox it'd be like fifty nine ninety nine still yeah but they're having they have all these sales all the time now and I, I check them I buy like tons of games for like four bucks all the time mm-hmm. that are like well worth it I yeah. think the Bioshock collection was like five ninety nine recently Which yeah but I already those games it, are bad like, so I uh yeah I, I want to give XCOM a shot at some point. I have the physical version, but you would like it definitely, and it holds up. It's yeah. Like it, oh yeah, it no, it's that's a that's a game that people love. That yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, it looks a little old, but like at the same time, it plays really well. I'm yeah, surprised by how well it. I will say, since you brought up Lego Star Wars, I don't know. I've played it twice. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, I'm I not totally feeling see. It. I, I don't know. Oh, I can. T- I get that completely because I don't think I. I don't know why I'm enjoying it, but. And I'm not getting like tons of achievements from playing it. Yeah. But I, I don't know. It's, it's it's entertaining enough. It's kind of like going through all the movies. And I'm not, I, you know, being a like the the fucking most hardcore Star Wars fan, I get why I'm playing through it. But I don't know. <laughs> I it, it's like I know what to expect out of a Lego star like a Lego game. And I'm it, it, it wasn't. The, it, I think the pacing's bad in it. To be honest with you, in a lot of the levels, the pacing can be really bad. I might like, just skip off the prequels and go back to them at the end because they're yeah, real, would, just not, not fun at all. Yeah, um, yeah, like 
the a new hope was great that whole level i like enjoyed from start to finish. yeah like but i think i've also been so i finished kirby over the week uh and i've been slowly chipping away at like post game kirby stuff because the final boss of kirby is not i wouldn't necessarily say it is easy and then get out of here if liam can beat that on hard mode <laughs> or whatever the fuck it's called i don't know uh wait did liam beat the final boss yeah did liam doing beat all the, the like post game I'm stuff doing, I'm doing all the post game stuff for him. He's like, Daddy, I can't do this. It's like all the speed running stuff to get the stars. I've been basically doing it all for him. Yeah. So he'll do some running. of it. It's not he's speed like, running. Oh, I don't like, whatever the mini games are where you get like those like go, like gold. Oh, stars. those things. Yeah, that's no, there's a whole other I don't want to oh, yeah, like spoil anything. That. No, he already did it all. He did it all. The he's additional stuff crazy. after you beat the final yeah. boss? Yeah. Damn, Liam's a pro gamer. He's, he's, Dude, he played that for like two weeks straight. And Listen, that was kinda like barely tested that's it. great that Liam smashed the final boss no problem. The final boss is not easy, especially for everything else in that game. It is like a vastly different type of boss. I mean, I don't... I, it did, I heard that. I thought he was going to need me to like help him. And yeah. Like, no people I'm not, him. I'm not saying it's like the hardest thing on the planet. I was just kind of surprised. I was like, whoa, this is like much more difficult than the other boss in this game were. Like, I, I'm not saying it took me like a million times to beat it. I think I may have died once. On the boss. My Switch has been collecting so much. I gotta actually play Kirby myself. I haven't played past. Kirby's like, the fantastic. Third level. Game's great. Oh, I, but I, I think I, that's. I, loved what I, played with. I think that's part of the problem with Lego for me is that I went from playing Kirby, a platformer that was a little more. They're they're not the same games, but also like very similar in certain like certain like very broad strokes ways. So I think I needed to I need to maybe buffer going from Kirby to that with something else first. Um because it just hasn't, I just haven't been able to like dig into Lego Star Wars and and really care about it too much. But I've been digging into some of the post game Kirby stuff. I don't know if I'll fully hundred percent that game, but I'll definitely keep playing a little bit more of it, uh, trying to unlock some extra stuff. What were you gonna say? Lego Star Wars has like this thing where you can like unlock skill trees and everything, but like it has like no like basis or. It, it doesn't like the game itself. Like you can just run through and fucking shoot people and fucking use your lightsaber. You don't need to like upgrade any of this stuff, which I, I get what they're doing. It was kind of a cool concept, but like I, I think we I, we they crunched this game quite a bit. It was like well known that this the people like the developers like had huge crunches on this game, and I feel like you can tell because I feel like it, it, it was like the, the stuff they have that you can upgrade is kind of something that's like there, but like mm-hmm. it's untapped. It's like untapped potential, basically. Yeah. It's like you don't even have to touch that stuff. You can just ignore it, basically. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the the post game or like deeper parts of that game look like. If unlocking the skill tree stuff has a benefit or not, if you're trying to like hundred percent or look for all the secrets, because there's like a crazy amount of things to unlock in that game. Like it's it's yeah. there is a lot of content buried in that game. Um, Dom, did you enter those codes? I entered them. I wanted to see if they worked. They work. They, they, yeah, yeah, they give you like different skins. Yeah, yeah. I, I tried them all. I'm just it, Mike. Is the episode that's on behind you the episode that we were literally just talking about? <laughs> uh, is he no, wearing the suede one... jacket right now? No, no, no. This is the one uh, where okay. I think he's dating like a a Native American woman, and something happens with a TV guide. I think it was. Uh, George's father's TV guide. Okay, I remember that right. I I know I know it's the woman, but I can't remember if those two plots are in the same episode. By the way, remember when we were playing? This was a couple of weeks ago. When we were playing and we were talking about Seinfeld, and and I started going like, "What's the deal?" With, and you're like, "Where are you getting these stupid?" Th-? I found out where I got them from. It's when Gilbert Godfrey was on Married with Children, and they're in a lifeboat in the middle of the water. You, first of all, just watch this because it's fucking hilarious. But Gilbert Godfrey starts doing a Jerry Seinfeld impersonation that is so fucking spot on. And he literally says the two jokes that I said. And I'm like, oh, that's where I got this from. Okay. <laughs> rest in peace, Gilbert. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, Gilbert. God damn it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've been kind of inching my way through Persona 3. And uh, today, of all things, I was like, you know what? I don't really know what I want to play. Let me just like quickly hop into... Elden Ring. I haven't played since I beat it, really. And uh see if I can just like summon some people and maybe get lucky and and beat Melania, the fucking hardest boss in the game. I so I I'm I think Todd is the only, might be the only one. There is is anyone familiar with Let Me Solo Her, a player going by that name? I yes. briefly learned about it like 
in the last couple of days. So there's a PC yeah. Elden Ring player for listeners that don't hey, know what I'm talking about. So it is PC. I thought you yes. couldn't play. Yes. Well, hold on. We'll we'll get there. Yes, because okay, I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> there is a PC player going by the name Let Me Solo Her, and just as the name implies, summon. If you are are lucky enough to summon that player, they will beat the boss for you with out any help like with barely even getting hit if not not getting hit at all i had read that article on ign and i know that it said in the article is a pc player but i like forgot that elden ring didn't have crossplay and in the article the person's like oh i will keep playing i will keep doing this for a little bit longer to help people these are the times that I will be online. So look for my summon sign during these times. And I was like, whatever. I'll, maybe maybe this person will pop up. Completely forgetting that, like, they, no crossplay and they're on PC. And I'm just, like, jumping into random summons for a while trying to beat people. We There were a few times where I almost was able to, like, beat it with two other people. Just 200 other random people. And then I was, like, just hitting a slump where I kept the people that were there to summon... That I have fought with them before and they were it was just not they were bad and it was just not going to work out so I kept waiting for summons to refresh and like checking the, see if it's new people and I quickly saw let me solo her and I was like wait what so like I clicked on it and then like someone else had summoned them so I, I missed out and I was like I'm going to hang around for a little bit and keep trying and see if this happens they popped up again a little while later missed them again and then I finally got them in and we get in there and I had someone a, a third person as well. The third person was wearing millennia's armor and had their weapon. So I was like, Oh, maybe this person has also happened to have beat this boss. So maybe I just walked out and got two perfect summons for this. The two of them are fighting. So like the other player that's playing with millennia's items was fighting alongside them. And I was like, Oh, I wonder if this is going to fuck everything up, but they were doing work and they beat the first phase of the boss very quickly and I was like, all right, I'm 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 going to win. Like, this is great. I don't have to do anything. This is fantastic. And so I, pro- I probably played for like a good hour and a half today before any of that stuff where I just was constantly dying to the boss. And get to the second phase. The person in the armor dies. The other, the person with the name Let Me Solo Her is like getting hit a lot. And mm-hmm. the health bar is super low. I think I sent a picture of it to Utah. The health bar was super low. And I was like, I don't want this person to die. Let me like go in and try to take some of the aggro off of, <laughs> oh, off that. of that character so they can heal. I run in, get one hit. Boss immediately turns around and one shots me. Just fucking kills me immediately. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. There was like an inch of health left on this boss. At least in a quarter of health. Like, There's no, no fucking way I'm going to get lucky and get this person again. I go back out. I keep waiting. They pop up again. I get them back in the game. I don't summon anyone else. I'm like, fuck it. Let's just go right in there. This person destroys the boss, like barely gets hit at all. And I get an Xbox message a few minutes later that says, you're the first, you're the first uh, clear for me. Thanks. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> And that's when I realized, oh yeah, this is not that person because they don't, they don't play on Xbox. Uh, but I got lucky and found someone that, was also trying to be the same type of person. So did you hear what I said, Todd? You're still muted. I it's tried. I just tried to pre- unpress mute like six times and I couldn't. Uh, that makes sense. That's so funny. So yeah. it wasn't even the person. I, I, I figured it wasn't. The but it's like, hilarious I, that, that that's right. like how it worked out. There was another person that kept showing up in the summons and I tried to get him a few times, but I couldn't. Their name was like, like, don't worry, I got this, bro, or something like that. And I kept trying to summon them because I was like, this person's got to be good. Because the other the other thing, too, and, like, I don't know if this is a thing for Souls games. I, this is, I just I don't play Souls games. If you stand over their summoning sign, it shows you what their character looks like. Is that a thing that's normal in those games? I don't even know. I don't know. So, like, it shows you their character pretty much like how they look i how never they summoned look. anyone in any of these i never games, so i like never I, did either so i think i did in bloodborne like twice to um, get, like, through a boss. but do you plan on playing like sekiro now and like other souls uh, i now? might at some point i don't know i like i do want to try another one at some point but like there's no rush i i don't have a, a rush to do that right now um but the part of the the thing with that character let me solo her is they wear like the pot on their head and no armor so like 
anyone that's going to get summoned at that boss fight that had no armor on, I was like, this person must at least think they are good. So I'm going to try to summon them. That other person was the same thing. They had a weird helmet on and no armor. And I was like, I don't know. I got I to gotta get, don't worry, bro. I got this. I need to summon them. Couldn't do it. But Doug Dimadong. <laughs> no, it was Doug Dimadong. Uh, uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was my day. I wanted to play other games, and then I ended up going down an Elden Hole. And uh, now I will probably never play that game again, which is great. Maybe I'll do a new game plus at some point. But yeah, I'm I'm good with. I, I see. Like when, when once I finally beat that game in like five more months, uh, I guarantee like I'll I'll want to play that game in like another year or two. I'll like you know play like a different build or something. Yeah, but. Uh, so when I was kind of thinking about what we would maybe talk about tonight, uh, the Elden Ring situation kind of brought this to me organically. So I kind of wanted to pose the same question to the rest of you. Are there like what what are some of if or if not the hardest like gaming moments you have had to either overcome or have just never overcome and then like passed or stopped playing the game or moved on? I don't know if, if anyone has any of those like any of that, any of that for you? Something that just like either what took forever and then you finally accomplished it, or something that just made you completely stop playing the game. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I only two things really spring to mind, and none of them are particularly interesting. Uh, the first one is I don't think I ever beat Simpsons Hit and Run because there was that level. last mission. That last mission <laughs> where you know we're on that timer and you have to like get the uh, nuclear waste from. Springfield Elementary to who knows there was a spaceship somewhere it doesn't fucking matter and then you have to get that, back right you have to get back to oh and I think there was also a, a chase part of that entire thing too where you were chasing a car and you couldn't let it yeah you couldn't you yeah. know let it get out of your sight or whatever uh, so there's that and then there is um, I don't know if this really counts but because of I think Kenobi, the Kenobi trailer, and I don't know, Lego Star Wars coming out. I was like, oh, oh yeah, I should fuck. <laughs> that was good. Um, I was like, oh, I should go back to Fallen Order. Why did I stop playing this game? And literally, it's because I was fighting some frog at the beginning of the game. I never, I never beat it, and I played it for a little bit. Still I could see it. like, I said, ah, I'll come back Order, to. This. I, I guarantee a lot of people didn't finish Fallen Order because it, it, it's like very soul like, and it's like difficulty level. And I had, I had a lot of issues with it towards like the later end part of the game where i beat it but i didn't think i was going to beat it for a while yeah wait mike i'm confused you're talking about the optional big frog thing on the first part of the yeah, game no, i didn't even i don't even think i yeah. fought that thing oh i fought it plenty of times too i never killed it and then i, yeah, I gave up on it but that made you stop well. playing the game mike yeah that's that is kind just of hide, funny to me. just hide just hide in the hallway and hit it from the hallway oh i could i tried I that I so many times that I, couldn't once. Do it. Huh? I think i did like get close to doing that I forget what ended up happening to why I didn't stay in the hallway. But I've been jumping in from the top to do whatever move, and it takes off a lot of health. It's just that after that, I have to figure out how to kill a frog with a lightsaber. Maybe I'll play that next. I got I to figure out what I want to play You should next. actually. You should play that. Especially coming off of, like, uh, um, a Souls-like game where, like, the parry is, like, way easier. And mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even parry in Elden Ring. That that was not my. I don't build. either. I, although I should, I probably could. My character, the the way that I built my character, though, oh, yeah, didn't you have, have like parry. The, uh, big sword, dude. Yeah. yeah, like. Um, it was all about dodge ro dodge rolling for me and trying to break their stance so that I could like get a big hit on them. Uh, what about you, Dom? Any any moments like these? Uh, um, I don't know. The hit and run one was definitely one that had popped into my head. Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head right now. What about you, Todd? I, get, I feel like I get a bunch. Um, the very first Metal Gear for Nintendo, I made it so fucking far in that game. And there wasn't like internet to help me through. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure I got to like the Metal Gear and I just couldn't figure it out. And it's something that always bothered me, but... Uh, there was that uh, Sekiro, like I was just talking about. I get it, like I just got, that game. I fucking love so much about that game, and I fucking still can't make it anywhere on it. Um, I can make it to like the the second boss, maybe, and I don't know. Yeah, fuck yeah, I have I have my copy too. Fuck yeah, 
Um, that game is so – that game was ahead of its fucking time, by the that way. That game was bad. <laughs> I didn't like that game. No, man, I'm telling you. But, like, I get why you would think it was bad. Completely understand. Um, but once you sneak in that first truck at the beginning of, like, the very first level and you get – when you get, like, the remote control missiles and shit like that. And, like, it's, like – it's very – not rpg but in some ways, like, you had to get certain key cards for certain areas. And I don't have yeah, a – I don't have a working NES right now, so oh, maybe, I'll just, maybe yeah, I'll just download a ROM. But for audio yeah. listeners, I'm holding the game in my hand. I do own the game, so I can download a ROM yep. uh, legally. Uh, another one, another one is uh, Cuphead, um, but I don't think I had. I I think I could oh, easily yeah. get. Through. I think I could yeah. get Cuphead. I just gave up. Like I gave up because I got frustrated with it, and I was yeah. like, I, and I went back but, recently with with Liam. The King King Dice was was oh, probably the hardest far. boss. But yeah, there's but, like, no I, way Todd got that far. Tell, do you remember got, what boss stopped you? I know. Yeah, I think I know what uh, stopped Mike. Uh, the Bumblebee Lady, and I just fucking like, and then I went back with Liam recently, and I almost beat her. I'm like, whoa, she's way easier than I. I just gave up. I kind of think I was done with the game at that point, even though yeah. I like the game. But uh, yeah, what 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 stopped Mike Boppy? My guess is Beppy, yeah, Beppy mm. the clown. Is that Beppy is that what Beppy. stopped you, Mike? Well, I stopped at Beppy because I think Beppy, like I don't think I beat anybody on that island, but Beppy seemed to be the easiest, so I, I focused on Beppy. And also keep in mind, whenever I revisit that game, I'll probably go back and actually buy the upgrades because I think I didn't do that for some reason. Yeah, I forget what you, my rationale was. You but I just do that, Mike. I just chose not to do it. Uh, yeah. I mean, w- were there hard stop points for you, Dom? And co- I mean, obviously you beat the game, and you're very good at the game, and you did like the fucking bonus things to beat, and all the other like s- sideways to beat the game. Um, was King Dice just I the, think it, the hardest? I think it just yeah. I think it just took me longer. Yeah, yeah. The King Dice fight was was very hard for me as well. I can't remember now were King Dice and the Devil broken up or you had to beat King Dice and then beat the Devil in the same go? Yeah, I think you had to beat King Dice. I don't know if that's true because I feel like you... I don't remember. Went through the casino and then you went to hell, but I can't remember that for sure. Yeah, I can't remember either. All I know is what made Um, the King Dice fight even harder was that like there was, I mean, you you could be good at it and like get the spaces you want, but there was that random element of like if you mistimed your jump and like parry the dice or I forget how it worked exactly, you would like land on spaces and you could potentially like, you know, fight bosses that you didn't want to fight and instead of like going through the board how you wanted to go through it. It was a good boss fight, which is very fucking difficult. I will say this: I think Metal Gear made me prepared for harder games later in my life playing that game so early like when yeah. i was younger because that game like does not spell anything out for you it's like you kind of figure it out yourself yeah like i, I mean, said there was no internet back then so it's fucking like you don't know what the fuck you could even do yeah i mean if if we're i wasn't even the stuff i was gonna say i wasn't gonna go that far back but if we're going that far back Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, not oh, yeah. not any of the beat 'em ups, not the arcade swimming game. Level, the sewer, the yes, swimming level. Yeah. that I, that I, I game is so. I should also go back and revisit that game. I love that. I still love that game, even though it's trash. Like it yeah, is such I a just, bad game. It's like, such a bad it's game. So bad, but I remember loving it. But like, not I I don't think I ever got past the water part where you have to defuse I the bombs. Definitely didn't. No. Nope. That was like not. one of the hardest stops. But I mean, like there were a lot of hard games back then. I could never get to the end of um, either Battletoads or Battletoads. There was like a Battletoads and Double Dragon game. They were in it together. I, I forget what it was called. I think it might have just been called Double Dragon and like and Battletoads or something. I want to look it up. Did any of you guys? Did any of you guys ever play the Roger Rabbit game? Because that was another game that like I could get to the end and never fucking beat the the last boss. But that game is like the most ridiculous. Like looking back at that game, it's another not good game. But yeah, it's just it called, it's just called it Battle Tool Double back. Dragon. Um, but yeah, that that game was like insanely hard, especially when you got to the. Has anyone else played the old Battle Tools games? I have. Yeah. Like when you get to the level where you're driving that bike. Yeah, it's, it's like it's crazy like, it's like, hard. You have you have yeah. to like basically memorize the pattern. You have to memorize it. Yeah, yeah. it's like. Um, but for some more recent stuff. Uh, probably one of the harder boss fights that I remember, aside from Elden Ring, because Elden Ring constantly had things that held me up for a while. Uh, 
uh, millennia would be a boss that I would never be able to beat on my own. So I'm happy to let someone else beat it for me. But aside from Elden Ring, there was one boss in Cyber Shadow that was like very difficult for me. Uh, Subject Alpha V1 and V2. It's uh, like somewhere in like the middle of the game. But I remember that boss giving me a lot of hard, uh, hard time in there. And I will say this too. And I, maybe I'm like putting my whole ass out here on this one, but I struggle. I feel like I took a long time to beat the house boss in Final Fantasy VII Remake. I feel like that boss me took too. me forever. No, that was tough. No, same. Okay. I, like I had Amanda and Liam cheering me on because they watched me fight that <laughs> boss so many times. And the one time I beat them, like we were like freaking out. Even Amanda, Amanda doesn't give a shit about this stuff. And she was like, we were all like, Oh, oh, like you know, like Liam's going crazy, but that that boss I probably fought like twenty plus times. Yeah, that that was probably the boss I fought the most in that game. Because uh-huh. it didn't like you didn't. There were certain moves you could do that would like when he was in a certain form that would like take. I like I just had to like trial and error that shit. Yeah, I feel yeah. like there were moves you could do that would give give it health back too, and I wasn't mm-hmm. always aware of which like form they were in and how that functioned. Yeah, 100%. yeah. Um, so that that was a difficult boss. Um, I feel like I had one more off of. Off of the two that you just said, um, Cyber Shadow made me think of Mega Man, which made me think of the Yellow Devil, which I don't, I still don't know if I could beat it without using the, the pause menu, go back in, so that it can't like actually move yeah. properly. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Final Fantasy reminded me of Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts. That's an optional oh, fight, I'd... though, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, weird. I, I. So I have uh, two others that are very recent. Actually, the newest Mega Man game, which I found that game fucking impossible. I liked it a lot, but like I had a really hard time. Was with that the Mega most Man recent Eleven? One. Yeah, whatever one. I got it on Switch. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, but, I think it's uh, Mega it was Man like, Eleven. Yeah, I had a really hard time with that. Um, and then the most recent Ghosts and Goblins. The game is straight. Oh, I didn't fucking, play the new one. It's fucking trash. Like and like. I kind of want like you guys to just try it and be like, yeah, this game is fucking stupid. Like, I'm cool with like harder games and having some sort of difficulty. Yeah, that game is fucking just not fun. I, and I'm a diehard Ghost and Goblin. Like, I used to play Ghost and Goblins on my, the original on the NES. Like, that was like my jam. This this fucking game was like the hardest thing. I've yeah, ever but played did you life. did you ever beat Ghosts and Goblins? Because I like I made it really far. All like, of those really games, Super that. Goals and Ghosts, Ghosts and Got, like all of those, I have never beaten. Those have all those will the all original, remain games I'll never be able to beat. Way yeah, too hard. The original, I got pretty close to the end. I know I got like very very close to the end, but like this, the most recent one is just fucking dumb. I gotta check what the reviews were on this game because like it's just it's like there's nonstop like the first level is non-stop enemies but like not like the original it's like seven on each side and you're like it's people flying at you and i'm like what am i supposed to do like i guess i'll just die like i I don't know what to do and i don't give up on games within the first time i ever play them i think i played that game like i gave it two chances and i'm like yeah this game is fucking horrible uh i'm trying to think what other games got hit me with a roadblock more recent times that i just stopped Playing yeah, there's a, there's a lot more for me too. I feel like there's some on PlayStation, maybe not. I can't remember. Like some games that I like really enjoyed that I just fucking hit a wall. Like the, the RC level in Toy Story was miserable. I never played that game. That's the uh, Super Nintendo game. Or yes, Nintendo 64. Super Nintendo. Super, I, no, it was Super Nintendo. Um, like there are games that I just don't gel with, and I and I drop. I wouldn't necessarily throw those as like. Games that were too hard or anything like that. Um, not to say that they weren't hard, but there are definitely some stuff that I uh, I dropped. I will say in... Oh, Punch-Out. I couldn't beat Mike Tyson, and I made it to Tyson, but I couldn't beat him. I've never beat Punch-Out. But Sonic... You just gotta wait for the guy to raise his hand. Sonic Mania I never beat. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I think I got it to Mirage Saloon. And I was just, I don't even remember if the game was just too hard or if it was just like I was done with the game at that point. But Sonic Mania is one of those ones where I've kind of wanted to go back and give another shot because I feel like it probably is a decent game. Uh, but I just have never. Yeah, so Sonic Mania, like the, like a couple the of most five recent years ago, 2D right? one. Yeah. Yeah, that game was fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, you, did you uh, beat it? No. Yeah. 
Um, oh, I have two more too. Returnal, which I just fucking haven't gone back to. I feel like I could actually get further in that game, but that game is fucking hard. Yeah. I feel like Returnal is harder than fucking Souls games for me personally. Um, and then uh, says, the, says the guy who has not beat Elden Ring. Yeah, I mean, but I feel like I can beat Elden Ring. I'm just losing focus of the game right now. I told you, like, to, I, I told think, you to beat it. I know. And Ninja Gaiden Black was the other one that, like, I had a really hard. I got to like a certain yeah. point in that game, and like, I couldn't get any further. I never played that game, but I believe that game is like has a reputation for being a difficult game. I think Ninja yeah, Gaiden cool. games are difficult in general historically, yeah. but I think that game specifically has a like a a reputation for being difficult. Um, I mean, there's plenty of classic games that are just hard on purpose that I've never beaten. Um, like plenty, but I feel like that would just be us naming games that we haven't beat. Right. Um, I, I'm trying to think, I feel like there's probably another situation where I've been like, no, this game's too difficult. I'm all set there. I mean, last year, Cam friend of the show, Cam and I had, uh, played through, most of the halo games on legendary and that experience in in its own was very mm-hmm. difficult but there were a few different times where it felt like we were not going to get through it specifically halo 2 is probably the hardest game to beat on legendary because it it makes the iron skull uh active which means that so like if for people who haven't played halo uh in the campaign, if you're playing cooperatively, let's say Todd and I were playing, if Todd got killed, I could go find a safe space and then he would respawn on me. So like you have to be aware of that stuff in when you're playing Halo on Legendary because like it, you can very easily die and get overwhelmed. And then if you both die, you have to go back to a checkpoint. In Halo 2, because Iron Skull is active, Iron Skull makes it that if anyone dies, you immediately go back to the checkpoint. So like... It was a situation where we had to be so laser focused at all times and it it was so hard for us to get through the first fucking level. Like the first level took us so long because we were like had to adjust to like yeah, playing that game so carefully. You don't have the patience. So how are we going to get yeah. through Gears on, on Hardcore or whatever it's called? Oh, see, I feel like Gears like that's third person shooters are way more my speed than like first person. Like third person, are like my that's like my go to for like style of game. Yeah. So like I feel like way more confident in that. But like first person shooters, and I feel like Halo Two is like so different as far as gameplay going back to that compared to like the other Halos. That like I feel like I'd have a hard time with Halo Two in general. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. There's there's definitely difference, especially from one to two. Um, but that that Iron Skull thing on Legendary just makes it very difficult. And you can activate the Iron Skull in later games, but like you don't have to. We're in to playing it on legendary that's part of the game mode it makes it a, a lot more difficult there was a, a boss fight too that's that held us up for a long time i can't remember if it was in two or three um i forget the character's name but you're fighting like one of the one of the covenant guys that's like in the chair that like hovers around that boss fight took us fucking i think it was halo 3 that took us forever to the point where like I, there were multiple times where we both probably said, like, I don't know if we can do this, at least not tonight. Like, <laughs> this is way too fucking hard. Um, yeah, those are probably some of, some of my more recent ones that come to mind uh, memory-wise. But the last thing that I wanted to bring up before we wrap things up here is that uh, last week Kingdom Hearts 4 got announced, which I know none of, yeah, I know none of us have played through all of the Kingdom Hearts games. I think we have enough sort of knowledge about kind of the characters and worlds and stuff that are there. Um, But with four getting announced, would there be like worlds or characters you would love to see get brought into the Kingdom Hearts universe? Like, would there be characters or movies or worlds that would like get you fucking amped up if they added them into the game? See, I'm the odd man out, and I don't want Star Wars or Marvel. I'd prefer they stuck to Disney. Um, like, I mean, it's all Disney now, but like, you know, like Disney, Disney. But you, you put Moana. I told you this. I texted you. I think you put Moana or Coco in that game. I'm fucking buying that game, and I'll probably play all the other ones before it, just to fucking <laughs> play in those. Todd did text me that, and Todd said, 
how, how much how do i buy the all-in-one package on xbox and i was like done you're not gonna like those games <laughs> no i tried playing that when, when it was on xbox i tried playing the first one and you know when you like start like right on the beach with like yeah. all the people I played for about 20 minutes. I'm like, fuck this game. This feels awful. And I just never went back to it ever again. I, this is what I'll say. I I'm, also love those children on Destiny Island. I said, fuck these children. They can stay here. Wait, did you do it? Yeah, nice. Yeah. This, like, this, is, this is what I will say. As it, None of us played Kingdom Hearts when we were young, correct? I did. I played the first one. Yes. Like, oh, it was like, well, my, I liked it too. That and I played the game that was, and there was a game that was on like a sprint phone that I fucking played too. Like, I don't even know what the game was, but I fucking, like, yeah, like, it was like the first game I ever bought on a phone. Todd had and, Snake like, yeah. on his phone in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, right. Makes no sense. Uh, did you play it when you were younger, Dom? I don't remember. I don't think so, right? Only over people's houses. Okay. So, like, uh, as, as someone like me who has no nostalgia for these games because I didn't play them when they came out and I didn't play, I think I beat one last year, either last year or the year before. It It is a rough game. Like it is, it is an old game. Like it's a PS2 game. Um, I believe it's a PS2 game. Um, I believe so. I mean, it's old. It's an old game. So it's going to be rough around the edges just simply because it's an old game. And without the nostalgia... It obviously, you know, makes it a little bit harder to swallow at points. Um, but I will say, I overall, I liked it. And I'm curious to see kind of where that rest of that story goes. So I do want to at least, I want to at least play through two and three. I'm going to attempt to play through the side games leading up to it. But if I can't, I'm going to do what uh, in front of the show Jesse suggested, which is just, just fucking watch like recap videos. And that's what I'll say, Mike. And I guess to you too, Todd. If you don't want to actually play through one again, just fucking watch like recap videos. I don't remember anything about one though. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Just like, watch like a recap uh, video that like explains the story well, like, and then play two. I feel like that's cheating, but I know what you're saying. Cause I mean, is it cheating though? There's like 27 well. games. No, I know. Trust me. I know it's the, the game did not. Listen, well. I have a Dom. Like, Dom's the only one here that's played at least some of it. I, I like started it, but didn't actually play it. I've only heard that chain of memories, which is like, technically the next storyline game you're supposed to play which was i think initially a game boy advance game apparently the the remake version is very bad according to people that play kingdom hearts so like if i start that game up and it is dog shit like i'm just gonna watch a recap video i'm not gonna like make myself play something that's just yeah well, like, that, well that's the problem like if people like are like yeah, you gotta play this series and they're like well the first one's bad and then chain of memories is not well, that good but you talk about, see but, like, i'll eh. be careful with saying the first one's bad i don't think the first one is bad i just think it's very old it's, it's just, just old no well yeah but there's plenty of old games that like still hold up like, and there's plenty of old just, games that don't hold up oh absolutely no i don't disagree with you but like for like such a big series first, like the first game holds up it's just the controls are really tough yeah. to get used yeah to. that's what i mean like more and like, it's written like, and i would argue that like the platforming is very, very bad, and there are levels where you have to platform a lot, and it's the Tarzan level dumb is so fucking bad. Tarzan level's really I, bad. Swinging on the vines. I had no, I had no problem with the uh, platforming. I game. fell, I fell on that part so many times. I was so aggravated. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I had any problems with the platforming. The swimming, I mean, the the swimming level was also really, really bad. Was it Little Mermaid level? I don't know. Atlantis. Yeah, I didn't have difficult. I, I think once I got used to the controls, I was fine. Yeah. It was the controls that took me forever to yeah. get used to. I, I Yeah, but I, I wouldn't say that the game is bad. I just think it's old. And especially old 3D oh, it's games. it's definitely dated. Yeah. yeah. Old 3D games do not age well most of the time. Like, they just don't. Um, but with that being said, Todd wants Coco and Moana. Mike, what, what would get you to be fucking pumped up for Kingdom Hearts 4? Like, what would be, like, the thing? They'd be like, fuck, I gotta fucking play these games now. Uh let's see. So my initial joke answer was going to be Um I was looking into it because I knew that for a period of time Disney did own uh Miramax. I didn't realize that they sold it. Quentin Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino universe. Yeah, because Darren Dino was. Oh, but here's the thing: when I was quickly looking at it, I believe. I mean, it would have still worked, but I believe Miramax put out Pulp Fiction before Disney had acquired it. I think Pulp Fiction came out in '93, and I think they might have acquired it either later in '93 or '94. But imagine if they did that. 
Imagine how how jarring that would have been. That would have been great. What's your what's your real answer? Like... Like? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't I don't I don't care. The things they have now should have got me into it. Like yeah, I, right. I shouldn't I need any, I kind of agree. I should I agree not that, need like... any anything to sell me on it. Like, yeah, you could add Star Wars and and Marvel stuff and And I fucking play everything. Whatever they got like, from Fox. Like they could add all those things now, but like they already have a stacked like Toy Story al- alone should be enough for me to say, "Oh, I want to I want to play these games and see what's going on." Apparently, it's not. So th- there's nothing for you Disney-wise that ranks a hi- ahead of sto- Toy Story that would get you fucking get you amped up. I'm saying that Here's what I'm going to say, actually. Kingdom Hearts, and I think I've said this before, was a game I was very interested in when it came out because I was already intrigued by the concept of, you know, all these Disney properties merging together. I I don't think I understood the concept of a JRPG at the time, but I wanted to play it. And that was a thing that I wanted to do for several years. And at some point I kind of spaced out and forgot about it. And then when I finally had the chance, I started playing it. I didn't really care. So what I'm saying is, I get what you're saying. Understand- yeah. So <laughs> what I'm saying is now there, like I know what Disney has, I know the game, I know me. So therefore, nothing they're going to add now is going to change how I feel about it. Like I own, I own three. I think the I don't remember if the rest of them are still on Game Pass, but actually, I'm sorry. You own. I you don't own, own the three. PlayStation bottle. I own the PlayStation Bundle. Three was on Game Pass. Sorry. So, I feel like- yeah, you, you, yeah, sure. Let's say Marvel and, and Star Wars, but honestly, they're not. I think that's a horrible they idea. Me if they put those into that game. But I mean, I'm sure I'm in the mi- minority on that statement. I don't think they should put that shit in there. But uh, Dom, what do you think? Do you think, would you want to see Star Wars and like, in Marvel and in I, s- Since Mike's refusing, to, before Dom answers that, but since Mike's refusing to give an actual answer, of any sort. There's no actual answer. There's no answer. That's the point. There's nothing that. No, they the can answer do because... is Mike would get amped up if the Country Bears were there. That's Mike's answer. Put yeah, it on the record. Let's go. Mike wants fucking. I, th- I, I have a, I have a really hard time Oh wait, with hold on. Of... Does the who is the main character in that movie? Haley Joel Osment. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, shit! Yeah. Isn't that also Sora? Yep. Can't do it. Damn. Sorry, I Mike. have a really hard time with like the dialogue of Kingdom Hearts, so it's like too fucking cheesy for me. And like, I just can't like. I know a lot of JRPGs are that way, but I feel like that game is overly that way. Like, I just can't get into the fucking the, the, the dialogue, the voice actors. Like, I just like watching some of that stuff. I'm like, I don't know about this. I don't know. I'm voice probably, actors. It's got a like stacked voice, voice cast. I yeah, know. I Do you like, know what the voice, who the voice actors are? Have you looked at the all, roster? It's all, this, it's all the same people from the, the movies, right? Or am I wrong? A, a lot of Wait, them so are, you're, but you're, 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 a lot of the other characters are like it's a stacked I, but, cast. I, but I think Hold on, you're hung up. I, you're hung up on the dialogue of Donald and Goofy. That's what's like too much for you. Is Donald going or Goofy going like a gore Sora? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> The Kingdom no, Hearts, like, like that's too much for you. I think it's more like Sora's dialogue and shit like that from like videos I've watched and everything. I'm just like, Ugh. I mean, it, I listen, know. it's fine if it's not for you. It doesn't need to be for you. I don't know. I've played one game. I can't comment on the future of the of the games and if the. I I, I don't understand that. Like even like diehard Kingdom Hearts fans like don't think three was that good. Uh, so like, I just don't get it. Like what like the fascination with the whole franchise is. Just because one entry is not doesn't I mean, live up to but, two does, well, doesn't first, mean that it's all game, bad. The first game doesn't hold up. Two's a gem. Hold on, Todd. Three, whatever. When you said the first game doesn't hold up, if I played that game when it came out and it fucking knocked my socks off, it doesn't fucking matter if it doesn't hold up now. GoldenEye is like one of my favorite first-person shooters of all time. That game is hot garbage to play now. I would never play that game again. It doesn't rob what it was at the time. That doesn't change my opinion on it then. Games are a weird medium when they get older. Yeah, no, they don't this, all this, age well. Yeah, I don't I don't know necessarily think that. I think this game was such a huge deal at the time because it was a fucking game with Disney characters in it that like had yeah, never no, been done like that. Before. Yeah, no, it, it it is. It is a I big I don't think deal. it's like the game itself. I think it I think like like the 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 having like these characters that you're interacting with like on a Disney level was like what sold people on that game. I don't think like the gameplay itself was like even back then. I mean 
I, I don't know. I I don't know. I'm not, I think yeah, you're I'm off like base it. with this because it's not like this was like a very necessarily accessible game. It's a fucking JRPG. Like it's not like it was like everyone is playing this game. Like it's not a platformer. Like it's not a a, a, a more approachable genre of game. I would argue this is at its root. It's mixing itself with Final Fantasy, so it is already kind of boxing itself into a more niche uh you know section of the gaming populace anyways dumb what would be the what would be the the fucking disney property to show up here that would get you fucking amped up so so my problem is that we know so we know donald and goofy are in back in the game Mm -hmm. because they showed them in the trailer do they die in the other games like no but i think sora dies i'm pretty sure the place that he's in is the afterlife so I don't know how that's gonna work, because I don't. I also don't know where the story's at at this point, and I know things get bonkers. And I mean, it's re- in it, the more recent games. It's very clear, or I think a lot of people put the put it together that Donald and Sor- uh, Donald and Goofy are in Hades in the trailer. Like they're going Likely. to speak. They're going to speak to Hades. Likely. Um. But that stuff aside, what would be the the thing, the property that would get you fucking jazzed? Well, I guess my my the reason that I bring it up is because uh the like afterlife that Sora is in is very realistic, so that would be the only reason to to lead me to say like Avengers or Star Wars stuff. I don't necessarily want them there, but if the afterlife that Sora's in is like a realistic place that I could see them coming in that way. Yeah. I don't, I don't um, think that's, I think they probably just put this in, whether it's in the final fantasy seven remake engine, or they just like are you utilizing, you know, no quote it. Apparently that's like a thing. The, uh, quad quadratum, the Tokyo looking world. Oh, there's a, the there's a reason why it looks that way. Oh, isn't, isn't actually the real world though. It's similar to an afterworld. Nomura said. Yeah. I don't know. It features real, real world locations like Shib- Shibuya, Shib- Shibuya, Shibuya. Yeah. And to Sora, it's an underworld. So like it's that way for a reason. Interesting. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how the store, like, I don't know. Um, yes, Moana and Coco would be good. I don't know, Incredibles would be good. We haven't gotten Incredibles yet. Hot take, I think Incredibles is just bad. I don't like any of the movies. You don't like any of the movies? I didn't think they were funny. Like, I don't think, I like, I, I mean, like, I feel like there's like a little bit of adult humor in some of those Disney movies, and I just didn't, I don't Todd know. hates the writing and Fro- the, the voice actors. Frozone, Frozone is the best part of fucking Incredibles. That's it. <laughs> Todd hates the dialogue. No, I don't fucking hate the dialogue. I just kind of, they're boring. I tried rewatching them with Liam and he didn't even give a shit about them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know anything else off the top of my head. Is Dumbo in Kingdom Hearts already? He is a summon, I believe. Okay. Um, I don't really know what would be the thing that would get me amped up. I don't need there to be Star Wars and Marvel. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if they were there. I just, I don't need that. I don't know if they would even bring them in. But I I'd also prefer that no they idea. not be there. But the real world thing makes me think that it's a possibility. Well, do you think that that the real world thing could bring in like Disney live action stuff that isn't Marvel Star Wars? I think we already got already Jack Sparrow. Pirate, but, yeah. Oh. Is already oh. I, that's. I mean, I maybe that. I knew that at some point, but. I, and also, didn't they already do Tron too? I was yeah, gonna Tron say I thought Tron too. was in there. Yeah. Yep. Um, for me, I'd probably want Flubber. That would be like my my number one. <laughs> Flubber actually would be an interesting one. Uh, Flubber would be a cool summon to bring in for no reason. Yeah, I don't really know what what would be like the thing that would get me amped up. I feel like there's a lot of really good Disney representation in there. I guess I guess just more Pixar would be the thing because I think is Toy Story the only Pixar in there currently. I believe so. Is Big Hero six and three? It's in three. Yeah. Six, zero, six, six, three. Okay. Which makes me want to play three. That yeah. also is not that technically Marvel. So isn't that like the gateway to Marvel coming in? It technically is Marvel. Oh boy. Um, 
If they did do Marvel and or Star Wars, though, I, I don't, I feel like they it would just be like one or two characters. I don't think it would be like a whole thing. It would be cool too because like if Sora is like don't it said, be a whole thing. I don't know. I feel like it would just maybe be like maybe Vader is like part of the 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 evil group of villain contingents or something. Like I don't think it would be like you go to fucking Tatooine or something or you go to I don't know. What what would he what would even be the 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 Marvel place? Maybe Wakanda. New York. New York? Well, I mean like the fuck you going to do in New York? Fucking battle the fucking what's it called? Wait, yeah. if Sor if Sor is dead, then that would be a cool way to bring in either Coco or fucking um That'd that would be, be an cool. interesting yeah. thing to bring in Coco. Uh Coco or Soul, to be honest with you. You could do either yeah. of those two. Yeah. Which I'd be down for both of those. You bring and Coco Soul Moana. I'm I'm fucking down for any of those. But like, if it actually would be interesting if Donald and Goofy aren't talking to Miguel, right? That'd be amazing. Yeah. See, like I'm sold. Is like, uh, already. <laughs> it better be that now. <laughs> it, it does Kingdom Hearts get referenced in either of the Wreck It Ralph movies? I don't think so. I, don't, I we just watched two the other day, and I don't think no. Everyone's in that fucking movie though. Like literally everyone. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what would be the thing that would get me amped up. I, I want to play the Kingdom Hearts games at some point anyway, so I'm already sort of... Can you, Brendan, just watch fucking Soul. So I don't have to... I mean, uh, actually, watch Soul because it's great, but Coco, so I don't have to pick that as one of my picks. I watched Encanto the other day. Well, not the other day, probably like two months what ago. What do you think? Because I was I hated on that movie a lot. I um, fucking love it. It grew on me a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's a it was a good movie. I think I think the that it had some bangers too. Like it had some good music. And, yo, I, that's I remember like a couple months ago. Like I said, I watched it and I'm like, the movie. I, I did not like it. I didn't like the songs. Now I like every fucking song in the movie. Yeah, and uh, I fucking like just like the movie. It's I like, mean, that was enough, and you'll end up liking it. That was part of the only reason why I cared to have the Oscars on in the background while I was playing my Switch because they were teasing. Uh, we don't talk about Bruno performance. Yeah. So I was like pumped for fucking like a live performance of that song. But uh, yeah, the movie was good. Um, I kind of like how like Disney's done their movies recently though. Like they're less about like a man saving the women or like, you know, like it's less about like love stories and more about like the straight up like stories of like regular thing. It, it's kind of gone off the, like the path in a good way. Yeah. I mean, I haven't watched any Disney movies really, so I can't really comment too much but i did pull up like a full list of disney movies just to like kind of rack my brain a little bit to see if there was anything that i'm not thinking of that would get me amped up actually you know what? i do love robin hood so like throw any of those characters in there fucking i'm down i don't think those characters are i know in, what we need are in i know there. what we need we need a fucking muppet world I, f- mike crazy hands down that would be the thing that would get me fucking amped i don't up. really know why i have both they're both the same Muppet movie, correct? Yes. Yeah. All right. Fuck. Um, is, Rat- is, Rat- is Ratatouille in any of the Kingdom Hearts? No. Maybe a summon, but uh, I don't know. But yeah, give me a fucking so. Muppet world. Hell yes. Give me fucking, uh, give me that. Raya, give me Kermit. Raya would make a lot of sense for Kingdom Hearts, by the way. Oh, I forgot about Raya. Yeah, I feel like that movie slept on, too. Like, um, but It came I, out at a weird time. I'm, uh, I was, yeah, that's true. I was scrolling this list, and I didn't... like. Disney has other like film studios that aren't like Disney, but they make movies under the Disney umbrella, like touchstone and stuff like that. I didn't realize that the super Mario brothers movie was made by Hollywood pictures, which is a Disney owned like studio. That's just funny to me. It's listed on the Disney website as like a Disney movie. I thought that was just very interesting to me. Um, I never knew that. Mo- Apparently, Monstropolis was also in Toy Story. Uh, was in Kingdom Hearts three, by the way. Is that so? There is that are Monsters there Inc. are two pix- There are two Pixar. Yeah. Um, I think I may have known that at the time when Kingdom Hearts three came out, because I think it was a big deal. I think people were making a big deal that like it Toy Story not just was there Disney anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that brings us to the end of the episode which is everyone's favorite game what's in the box if you are new to the show or this is your first time tuning in every week we pull three games off my shelf i read the back of the box the panel has to guess what the game is oh. based on what i read what you got ralph as a summon 
interesting. Um, the current score for the year is Dom at 19, Todd at 15, Mike at 12. I have two stumps and uh, guest points, Odell with one and Ken Shepard with two. And uh, before Todd gets, we will obviously wait till Todd gets back. I was going to pose this as like a new rule and I'll let of you. Of course, of course, Logan's waking up right of now. Of course. And yeah, that's fine. Do, do what you got to do. I'll, we can, we can vamp. Uh, it, let me know if this rule is, is not, should we should do this or not. I was thinking if someone guesses, they then cannot guess again until the other two people also guess. So like, let's say Dom throws out a game title. But Mike doesn't fucking guess. Well, he would have to guess or pass. He would have to say guess or pass. How do we feel about that? That way, like, you know, let's just say someone says like, oh, Mario Kart Double Dash. And then that sparks the fucking thing for everyone else. But like, they have to not just blurt out a game. They have to like, think, okay, is it a Mario Kart game? Should I say Mario Kart 7? Should I say whatever? Or is that just too too much nuance, too much too much like little detail, and just keep the if you guess you have to wait five seconds to guess again. Hmm. It should be fine. It may. I mean, whatever. It's gonna We're slow. Not, yeah, it's gonna slow things. Yeah, down. it's gonna slow things down. But I mean, that's well, no, because it will just be like right. Dom guesses something. I say, Mike, do you have a guess or do you want to pass? And then I do the same thing to Todd. Trying to build the right amount of tension without making it too ridiculous. Like the right amount of like friction. That's like you can't just go willy nilly. Yeah, no, I, I get what Brendan's saying. Because like, like I, I feel like well, I'm like one, two, three, four, five. This, one, two, three, four, five. No, this. You know. So what do we think? All right, I'll be right back. Sure, we can try it. Yeah, we'll try it for this round. If it makes it Fine. too chaotic or not make any sense, we'll 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 uh move along. But while we wait for Todd to uh, come back, what uh, I don't know. Do you do you think you will get back to Kingdom Hearts anytime soon, Dom, or no? Um, I will at some point. I'm just in a position where there's a bunch of games like on my table as it is. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't foresee Kingdom Hearts four coming out anytime soon, so it's not like there's a. No pressure to get it done right away but um i'm trying to even remember what the next game in the series that i was gonna hit was um i think after chain of memories it just goes into two i think is it uh, is two next i believe um, that's the order i think it goes one chain of memories and then two if you're trying to play them in order um, Order of Kingdom Eagles. Hearts games. Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts 2, yeah. Yeah, which 2, I'm, I've heard from most people, I think, is the best Kingdom Hearts. So I kind of want to just get through Chain of Memories one way or the other just so I can get to 2 and see see what all the fuss is about. Um, what, what should be the next Disney movie and or Pixar movie that I watch? It's been... Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 has been cited as one of the greatest video games of all time. I mean, wow, maybe. Wow. Um, what's the next Disney Pixar movie? I don't know. Yeah. Watch fucking Coco. Uh, Jen just watched Coco, but I didn't watch it. We don't talk about Coco. No. That's a wrong movie, Mike. No. Uh, should I watch I John I Carter? Yeah. Yeah, do it. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to pull up a list of Disney Pixar in order. Okay, we got, we got uh, Togo. Is that a movie? Yeah, it's a movie about the dog. Oh, it's not. It's an a... animated film. Okay. No, it's a live action film. Uh, Frozen. I haven't seen Frozen one or two. I mean, I haven't seen I any of these movies, but I'm just gonna go through like. The more Frozen's recent. and Kingdom Hearts. Frozen's and Kingdom Hearts? I think it's in Kingdom Hearts 3. Interesting. The movie was too big for them not to throw in there. Um, 
that's not that's Toy Story Four. Can I watch Toy Story Four? Is Toy Story Four the one where they end up in the like uh daycare? That's no. three. That's three. What's what is the plot of four? Maybe I didn't watch four. Four the is one the one with Tony the Hale Carnival. Yeah. Oh Porky. yeah, maybe I didn't watch four. Is four worth watching or no? Yeah. I Most people will tell you to skip it. Um, Dom, remember, um, Dom, remember uh, Once Upon a Time, the television show? I do recall. That's all I got. Is that the end? I just remember it. Yeah, I was just thinking about, like, when I said Frozen was too big for them not to put in Kingdom Hearts, I remember that they, they put it in. Frozen they shoved it in there, yeah. Yeah. Um, I did not watch. What if, they put one, what if they put Once Upon a Time into Kingdom Hearts? And it was just <laughs> like, it was like uh, Inception, like. Yeah, we're doing Disney references in Disney references. Uh, remember, fuck, what's Gus Fring, the actor's name, on Carlo? Giancarlo Esposito. Esposito. Yeah, he was the magic mirror in that show for all of like two seasons. I don't. And they stopped that. caring about that I character. I mean, I didn't really there. watch that show, so. I I did watch that show for like, for far too many seasons. I didn't finish it, but I did. I did watch it religiously for. I don't know, three or four seasons, I think. It's on Disney Plus. Well, maybe I should finish it. I shouldn't. I definitely won't. I didn't watch either Wreck It Ralph it. film. I didn't watch Incredibles 2. I didn't watch Coco. I haven't seen Moana. Uh I haven't seen Finding Dory. I don't think I would watch that anyway. They did. They did a live action Pete's Dragon. Yep. Yeah. Was it good? I didn't see it. I didn't watch yeah. Zootopia. I didn't watch Inside Out. It was pretty good. I, I thought did, it was pretty good. I did not watch Big Hero Six. I did start Big Hero Six though. I maybe I should just watch that next. I also need to watch. Uh, Not being able to talk this whole conversation, I was like, "Damn, this!" I wanted to say so many things, but uh, Big Hero Six, man. I don't know if that movie slept on. I don't know what people think of that movie. I don't really know much. I just watched that again last weekend, and there are some fucking awesome scenes. And the bad guy's so good in this movie. Like, it's not like amazing, but like, I, I don't know. There's just a lot I love about Big Hero Six. But Brennan, I really think you should watch Coco because. Not even the music that's in Coco, but the score. I think it's done by Michael Giacano, who's the guy who did the Lost music. The original score of that movie is so fucking good that like he's also the guy that did Batman. Oh, he did. Okay, cool. Yeah, he, he, he did, did a, a lot of things. Stuff, he did basically. Doctor yeah. Strange. Something did... in my ass. <laughs> he did a bunch of shit, and like he's but, he's good. But yeah, no, he's really good. Yeah, like I don't. Did he start with Lost though? Like he was, he was big before that. I feel I like. Don't like know. I don't You're know. asking me. I don't. I don't know the answer to that. I don't even know. He did. He did Inception too. I think. Did Did Jen like? No, that was, that was Zimmer. Yeah, she was liked Hans Zimmer. I mean, I liked Encanto. I, I don't know. I if, if, I if you're looking for more bangers from Lin Manuel, watch Moana because like every fucking song in that movie is good. That's another movie that like every fucking song so, is good. He did wait, all the music for that. If the three of you are gonna each say the next Disney and or Pixar movie I should watch, you're saying Moana Todd? I think Moana Coco. No, one no, of those you three. gotta or pick one. Moana Coco. No, you gotta pick one. You gotta pick one. Coco is or Wreck It Ralph. Um, what so, you think yeah, Wreck It Ralph Tom? I said or Wreck It Ralph. You might like Moana. Yeah, Wreck-It you know, Wreck Ralph's good. If there's no music. I mean, it, 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 that doesn't really matter. But there's not like there's no music. Yeah. I don't think there's any music in Wreck-It Ralph. What about you, Mike? Yeah, what do you think? Um, the one the song in Wreck-It Ralph is um, it's not. Is it Owl City? Oh, probably. Uh, you know what bothers me about Wreck-It Ralph? It is. You know what it is. When Wreck-It can I see Ralph? you again? Yes. Wreck-It Ralph two has all the Disney princesses in it, but the animation on them looks so fucking weird. It's like it doesn't look like I don't understand. It's like a Disney movie, and all right. like we're we're going off on a tangent. What's in the box? Uh, What's in the box? We're gonna introduce that new rule. So if somebody guesses, then it stops, and the other two people get a chance to guess before the other person. What can if guess the other it? person can't guess? Like one, of they the can pass. Has like they can pass. Game number one. Can blank summon the courage? To save blank blank. 
uh, whoops, maybe I shouldn't have picked this game. Uh, explore blank blank full of blank blank and bone chilling challenges. You need the full title of this game. Catch blank and uncover secrets using new gadgets such as the blank blank and the blank 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 and more. Team up with friends and other players worldwide in online multiplayer. The blank blanks. A lot of blanks. blanks. A blank. A lot of blanks. I realized after that if I were to say some of those words, it would probably make it a little too obvious of what it could be. So we'll see. That's tough. There's a lot of blanks in there. Um, hmm. I can read through again and then maybe omit a little bit less. Just read through it again and I'll see. Like, I can... Yeah, I'm... can blank Please summon the that. courage to save Evershade Valley? Explore blank blank full of blank blank and bone chilling challenges. Catch blank and uncover secrets using new gadgets such as the blank blank and dark light device and more. Dead by Dawn? No. I don't also don't think that's the title of a game. Uh, wait, dead, wait, what is <laughs> you it? can't dead, say anything dead. else. You, oh, okay, you yeah. guessed. Does does anyone else have a guess? Can I ask a question before I make my guess? Uh no. I feel like I feel like that is like too unfair because then you get more knowledge that Todd didn't have. Yeah, but Todd uh, didn't have to fucking guess. That's true. Todd didn't have to guess. You ask your question, I mean, and I can I will answer it if I think it is fair to answer. Yeah, what was it? Uh, what was it? Evershade Valley. Evershade Valley. Mike, do either yeah, do you also have, is anyone having a guess? What made you What made you omit that the first time? Is that like I mean, it's a, it's the obvious? setting. It's the setting of the game. So if someone knew knew it, it would give you the game right away. It's a proper noun. Uh, I usually omit all proper nouns. Yeah, I don't have a real guess. I'm gonna say Alan Wake because I I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> it's not I hope Alan. He Wake. gets it. Oh man, I was hoping he gets it because <laughs> so, so good. But that's no co-op in that. You say co-op, right? You play with other people, I think you Team up with friends and other players worldwide in online multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guess or pass, Dom? Dom, guess still. Half-Life 2. No. I I was trying to watch your facial expressions. There, yeah, no, there is no another that. sentence that I completely omitted that I will now reveal. Before you reveal <gasps> it, do you know what game I was trying to say when I said the game I was trying? To I mean, you, you, yeah, you said like a mixture of a couple different games. Okay, what what game is what what was I trying to say? That's, I can't remember the name of the game. You, you said like dead. dead Island, you right? said Dead by Dawn or something is what you said. Yeah. And do you know what I was trying to say, though? What game? They're dead by I daylight. Mean, it doesn't or... matter if I oh, do or daylight. it doesn't yeah, yeah. matter if I do or don't know what you said because you didn't say a game. You said okay, a title no, that no. wasn't real, and I'm not going no, to say whether fine. that it was or wasn't a game. Uh, this last sentence that I completely omitted the first time will, might give you some more uh, context for what this game is. Additional systems and copies of the game required for online play. Dead by daylight. <laughs> no. Oh man, I was like, "Wait, is, are you holding out this whole do, time?" Do do either of you have a guess? Uh, say that again. I'm sorry. Uh, Team up with friends and other players no, worldwide no, 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 no. in online multiplayer. Additional systems and copies of the game required for online play. What what does that even mean? I don't, additional systems like I'm not gonna tell you. I what imagine it, means. It, it, it. Mike, you. I'm gonna. Mike, you, you. You think you have it? Maybe keep it to yourself. No, I don't. I definitely don't know the game. But you know or what that I context know, clue is, so maybe you keep it to yourself. I'm trying to help Fine, you, Mike. Okay. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> you. Listen, you can say what you say, whatever you want. But I'm just saying. You, can I can I ask a question? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like why did you just fucking laugh like snidely whiplash, Mike? <laughs> 
uh, I feel like this this interim period where someone guesses, then the other people have a chance. There has to yeah. be a timer because you you guys are taking too long. That's too much thought. So you gotta you gotta either guess or pass. I got no I told pass. you I was gonna slow the uh, game down. I one hundred percent pass. Well, it's, it's not even happened. about the speed of the game. It's more so that it gives them a chance to stop and think with with no pressure that. At least See, one other person will blurt the answer. All these new, we're throwing all these new rules in, so my brain's just fucking. Fine, drop the rules. No. You have to wait five no, seconds. You have to wait five <laughs> seconds if you guess. Go. We well, I was, gonna, I was gonna ruin your rule anyways. I was just gonna make another guess as soon as the. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't ruin the rule. That just boxes you out of of of. Go ahead, Doug. Of it. I, I got that. Yeah, we're moving on. No more. That rule's out out of play. This is not working. <laughs> Nobody Sorry, has guesses. You, I don't have a guess. No. Mike, I'm pretty sure that you know what that context clue gives you. So you I at least also know what that yeah. means. All right, so then that I that just, should be a major clue. That it is the reason that I said what I said. Oh well, then okay, hold on a second. Then I might be. Go, oh, Mike. Well, you got this. Sense. I would need a full title, which means oh I don't wait, think I need a full title. I don't know what anyone is thinking right now. Can blank summon the courage to save Evershade Valley? Explore blank blank full of blank blank and bone chilling challenges. Catch blank. I think I know the game, but I, I, don't, say it for Christ I don't know a full title. Which you need that full it title. Help me. You need I will, that full title. I will, say, I will say half the title and Do then it. it won't help anybody. I can say it. Well, I mean, it will help everyone but me. Yeah, exactly. Using new gadgets such as the blank 5000, the dark yeah, light I device, know what the game is. I just, and I more. I don't know what the full title is. Team up with friends and other players worldwide in online multiplayer. Additional systems and copies of the game required for online play. Yeah, whatever. Uh, all right, here goes nothing. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And Dom gets the big old point. That yeah, was actually I, I was, was Luigi's. I was initially thinking it was Luigi's Mansion. Then Todd said Dead by Daylight, and you said additional copies required for multiplayer. And I was like, Oh, okay, because people could join your party, but they wouldn't necessarily need a copy of the game. Yeah, when, and right. when I'm playing when I'm playing Luigi's Mansion, I don't fucking pay attention to the story. So you, Evershade Valley means nothing to me. Like, like I don't like don't give a shit about the story. I'm just fucking there to play that game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there plenty of other things in the back of the box that I read that that tell you what the game is. I mean, Mike got Mike got it first. He just didn't know the full title. Oh, when wait, you wait. said dark light device, my, the first thing that popped into my head was yeah. Luigi's oh, Mansion. So, yeah. I didn't also, even do, I didn't even additional do additional copies of the game and consoles that is almost a hundred percent every time means the 3DS. Like the yeah, 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 or Nintendo. Yeah, that, I mean that's like the dead giveaway. Game number two. The point goes to Dom. The story is not over. Encounter even more. Are you gonna say something, Todd? Huh? All right. I'm just I'm just Encounter me. even more blank, blank, and blank. Travel to amazing worlds you've never experienced. Use powerful new techniques, magic, and fuck. combination attacks. Fuck! 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 Experience. Kingdom Hearts Two. Wow! Dom said, "I'm going for the sweep." Kingdom Hearts 2. I knew um, it was a Kingdom Hearts game, but yo, that's why I started saying fuck because I was like, if like, I say the wrong number, then I'm fucked. Here's the problem. Brendan pay I mean, uh, Dom pays attention to, like, what's going on way too much during the, like, podcast. And, like, it's always something that, like, correlates with, like, something that we're talking about in the podcast. It's no, always the case. Brendan's, always. Brendan's, reading, Brendan's reading off his computer because he doesn't yep. own a physical copy of Kingdom Factual. Hearts 2. That was one. Yep. Yeah, Two, right he now. said explore <laughs> even more, which means that it's not the first game. Factual. No, Dom no, is fucking... No. There's a reason why Dom's you. leading the league right now. Yeah. Like, and, and he owns when, a physical when, copy of three, you, so I knew it wasn't stepped, three. When you stepped away last week, I think we all predicted every single game. And Did we get every game last week? Or did we, oh, I forget no, what week it was. No, did not like, get every game last week. No, it was there the was, week before that. There was like, one, yes, there was one week where I pulled games that were part that of was, the conversation. That, I think that was the week where Brennan was like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, but I, like, <laughs> but I, but I don't talking. do that every week, though. 
Also, I don't think that that was necessarily you had to be paying attention to the ep- we, how, we were just talking about Kingdom Hearts for like 25 minutes. What do you mean you weren't paying attention? What are you talking about? No, not that I'm not paying attention. I'm saying like that like I don't I'm not trying to think of ahead of like what the games are going to be at the end of the time, but they always correlate with what we're doing. In Luigi's the show. Mansion and had nothing to do with this episode. No, I'm not saying like every game. I'm saying like there's at least one or two games that has to do with what we'll we're doing. We'll find out. Game or, number three, a new revolution. Like Release the weekend before. A new, then I, you can guess those games. Like I don't, <laughs> when I buy new games, Todd, I also post them online so you can see what things get added to my library. But am I pulling a new game? I don't know. A new. You need the full title. A New Revolution. I almost just said the title of the game. I was like, it was a Dance Dance Revolution? Uh, Blank Blank. Sorry, let me me, me reset. A New Revolution. Blank Blank. With breathtaking graphics and 100% true to the arcade, it's the first go-anywhere, grab-anything, blank game on the planet. So familiar. Okay. Swing off a light post, run up walls, and pick up items like tables, posts, and barrels in swashbuckling battles. Plus, plus, collect swashbuckling battles. You said this is based off an arcade game too. Did I hear that correct? Can I read the whole fucking box? <laughs> yeah, I said I just to make- with breathtaking graphics and one hundred percent true to the arcade. It's the first go anywhere, grab anything, blank game on the planet. Plus, collect three blank blank to transform into a raging super being capable of deadly power fusion moves. Uh, then there's a couple of things that are just repeating things that I've already said and then at the bottom there is a quote from Next Gen Online that says blank blank is breathtaking quite possibly the mo- the most unique blank ever is it Keanu said breathtaking you heard breathtaking Everyone should know this game. Probably. I mean, the first sentence you said sounded... A new revolution. Blank, blank. With breathtaking graphics and 100% true to the arcade, it's the first go anywhere, grab anything, I'm confused by true to the arcade comment. I mean, I'm not asking you to explain it. I'm just saying that's throwing me off a little bit. Yeah. That and the swashbuckling thing. I don't, I don't the know. swashbuckling thing is weird too. This yeah. is what I'll say as a blanket thing, and this could apply. It could not apply. I'm not trying to force let's you either guess, way. Let's just guess pirate games. But you shouldn't maybe always hone games. in on one part of the box. I feel like no, you get but, stuck on but, stuff sometimes. But the boxes always use puns. Not always. Maybe. It's the first go anywhere, grab anything. Blank game on the planet. Swing Does off. Brendan own physical copies yeah. of Dreamcast games? Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. It is not Sea of Thieves. He might. Power Stone. Dom with oh. the fucking sweep of the week, baby. What is it? Power Stone. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Power Stone. Power Stone. With breathtaking yeah. graphics and 100% true to the arcade, it's the first go anywhere, grab anything fighting game on the planet. Legit, never even heard of that game. Ever. You're missing out. It's fucking a classic. It was a good game. Uh, all I played was Soul Calibur on Dreamcast. So. You're definitely yeah, missing out. Read. Dom with the weak sweep. That leaves us at the week with Dom at 22, Todd at 15, Mike at 12. We're going to definitely have to do a bonus whole game show episode soon because Dom's pulling so far ahead, someone needs a chance to catch up. Or maybe we don't. Maybe we just let it ride. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll have a middle of the year game show episode that Yo, will you know give what? people more here's, attempts here's to get problem. points and then at the end of the year we'll end on a longer game show segment so that way there's the potential for some some upsets some comebacks anyways 
Thank you all so much for listening to this week's episode, episode 310 of the Pass Control Podcast. If you're a friend of the show, fan of the show, want to help support the show, you can do that in a bunch of different ways. Ones that cost you money, ones that cost you nothing. You can leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, on on uh, Spotify, or wherever else uh, you listen to podcasts that have reviews. You can subscribe to us on Twitch, follow us on social media, subscribe to us on YouTube, share us with a friend, let someone else know about us. Uh, you can buy some merch at pastcontroller.threadless.com. You can subscribe to us on Twitch. You can do all these different things. We love you either way. We're just happy you hang out with us. Listen, watch, enjoy us every week. You can find me at Groom. You can find Mike at underscore Michael Path. You can find Todd at Toddy underscore by underscore nature. You can find Dom at PDC underscore one little spark. You can find everything we do at pastcontroller.io and at pastcontroller on Twitter and on Instagram. And until next time.